Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Latest news in the streets. Join us, sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So, sir, your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Yeah, so, I want to go ahead and get on um, and talk about everything going on here with Zeus Network. Ciao, ciao, ciao. Whoo. It is a mess. All right, let me find the Stunner Girl video. There's a few of them. She don't even look the same no more. I'm trying to find the short one on TikTok. I didn't even know Lemby was married to um, Janisha. I never realized they were married. The pretty lady that be hosting, I didn't know that was his wife. This man done got some fame and power, honey. He fucking everything at Zeus. All right, let's go here. Let's go on to TikTok. This might be it. Um, her and Razor was just, they, they was going at it. Nigga, they was. I remember we. That, oh, that scene when we was on a jet. Okay, that what really happened when we was on a jet. The bitch was trying to check me, and I wasn't letting her check me. Then she started to shift her ener like her focus and her energy onto Scotty. I'm talking about this bitch. But she was taking some shots, and she got up like, Scotty, this is my dick. This my dick, bitch. That's why you mad, bitch. This my dick. And I'm going to fuck your nigga. Ooh. Just out of nowhere. Like, this bitch was arguing with me and then just started thinking about Scotty. And so then we end up fighting because she, at, when we was getting off the plane, she ran up in Scotty's face and she was like, this my nigga, this my dick. And then she was like, fuck you, stunner. And in Scotty's face. I'm all the way in the back of the plane like, okay, bitch. I knew I was on your mind, bitch, on my mind. But like, she, she told her, fuck you, stunner. And she was arguing with her. So I was like, um, her and Razor, was just, 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 they, they was good. All right, child. Let's, what is another one? Let me see if this one was it. It was one where she was like just spilling all types of ratchet tea, and I was here for it. Maybe this is the one. And the bitch Natalie said, the bitch don't even get no purses. She don't even get no good allowance. The only thing she get is her rent paid, and he got cameras in her house. So he could see everything she motherfucking do. And the bitch Natalie said, the bitch don't even get no purses. She don't even get no good allowance. The only thing she get is her rent paid, and he got cameras in her house. So, so he Natalie is fucking let me too? I thought Natalie had a husband. My husband. Ooh, a stunner girl is just spilling all the tea. Okay, let's, let's see what she said in this one. You hot? Like, why does it matter who you fuck? Like, you're already fu fucking. Up. Okay, people add. I hate when people add music. That's the one. So let's see. Let's see. Okay, y'all remember how her and Krishan had got into it that day, and she was like, "Bitch, you're gonna go in there and make my fucking money. I'm not gonna do shit." Oh, bitch! As soon as we got up in there, this bitch really tried to sit up in the back with me, like she wasn't finna do shit. That man must have came over there and drank that motherfucking mic like motherfucking Ike, and the bitch was Tina. Get the fuck up, bitch. Stand the fuck up. Okay, y'all remember how her and Krishan had gotten... Okay, Stunner Girl is out here spilling all the Zeus Network tea. Okay, all right. There was another one I saw earlier. Oh, now I got a lion about to blow that shit. Okay, next. All right. Um, For y'all who are asking who the hell is Stunner Girl... This is a bunch of ghetto ass Zeus Network bullshit. Now, who remembers when I when I was in Atlanta? <laughs> I was getting ready for my live event that I did last April. Remember, I went out there. I was in Atlanta for like two weeks at this Airbnb, and they had Zeus Network. <laughs> and so I was there for two weeks in Atlanta, and that's how I got. Um, you know, I started watching like the baddies. Because the person whose Airbnb it was, they had Zeus Network. Yeah, I remember that. Put a teacup here. I remember that. This is how I found out about all this ratchetness. So, um, Stunner Girl is really pretty girl from Cali. Um, she's a rapper as well. And she was one of the little young girls that came on there. She was kind of just about that life. Like, she has, like, the, the Cali... She reminds me of, like, them girls from, like, Compton, Inglewood. She's just Cali'd out. The way she talks, the way she carries herself... 
And um, she just, she wasn't scared. Like a lot of the girls on the baddie show was hating on her. Cause I remember she fought that big old uh, Puerto Rican girl or Dominican girl, Biggie. I remember Biggie tried to fight her. Um, Tommy was going after her, but Stunner was holding her own. Like Stunner wasn't scared. She was like, bitch, I'm here. You know what I'm saying? And I noticed Krishan's energy was definitely different towards Stunner. Krishan didn't want no Stunner smoke, okay? So Stunner is basically saying that Lemmy um, is using his position as Zeus to be fucking all of these girls, okay? And they're saying that he's out here with the claps. Said he's out here clapping bitches, not literally clapping, but spreading chlamydia. Back in the day, it was called the claps. I don't know what I don't know what the young folks call it now, but when we were growing up, it was called the claps. Okay, let's listen to this audio. Armand has it on his page. Okay. So why did you say I had it? Yeah, so but I just don't get how where I get but I'm trying to understand what she just so y'all was talking about wait, so y'all was talking about y'all fighting and she just randomly just said Anna got committed by by Lemmy? No, I never said that me and you fought because of that. No, I never even told her why we fought. She just said that you were going around at house at another house saying that he gave you something. I said there's no way he gave that to her because We don't even fuck on each other. So, but my whole thing is, yeah, he can't end up giving you that because we wasn't even fucking on each other. This is during filming. I don't even understand what the fuck. Yeah. So, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, I told her I never. Yeah. So, regardless, regardless of the fact is the bitch saying I was going around the other house saying that. When have we ever in house A been around each other while filming? Have we ever been around each other? Okay. Why does chlamydia need spooky music? Like, come on with it. Like, can y'all stop adding music to everything? I just, I hate that. It's such a distraction. The music be too loud. Like, bitch, this is not like a permanent disease. Like, you just go to the doctor and get some medication. What, like, what's up with the spooky music? Like, she gonna have chlamydia for the rest of her life. Like, dude, stop. So that's basically Scotty and Anna talking, okay? No. And DJ Sky, I guess she leaked that conversation. Um, this is Lemmy's wife. Let me show y'all. She's the one, she does all like the hosting. Very pretty lady too. Uh, Janisha. So I'm very shocked. I didn't know that they were married. But okay. So. Let me also show y'all this. Let me go back to my page here. Okay. We're going to read some stuff. We're going to come back to read his statement. So this was um, Scotty and Stunner Girl took a screenshot. So I know somebody that talked to Anna. I don't know if I even want to tell you. Tell me. She said, let me gave her chlamydia. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, bitch. She didn't have to pull your arm that hard. Damn. I don't know if I want to tell you. Tell me. She said, ready to just spill the damn tea. Okay. Damn. So Stunner Girl replies back and says, what the F? That shit's serious. Her close partner said it like it's a joke, but it's not. And the person who told me, she said it herself out of her own mouth. He's never given me anything before. But then again, I go to the doctor. She also has a boyfriend that she fucks while fucking him. But I go to the doc regularly because I know what's going on. I take pills to make prevent. I got, okay, that don't even make no sense what she just wrote. Then this was in August. She said, what you doing? Annoyed as fuck. About to start these interviews. I know somebody that talked to Anna. I don't even want to tell you to, okay, that's the same one. Um, let's see here. So it's a Scotty again. Okay, I take pills to make prevent. I got BV back in December, ever since my doctor put me on pills. How many, how many different dicks are y'all bouncing on? Did you, you know, just permanent pills to prevent BV? Sorry. I'm just saying like, 
you know, things happen, right? Things happen with women with our bodies, so I'm not clowning that. But for the doctor to permanently put her on pills for to prevent BV, girl, how many random, You because that's where, that's where it comes from. Let's keep it real, ladies. It comes from when you're sleeping with multiple men, you got different peens, you know what I'm saying? Different pH balances running through you. Then she says, oh my God. Then Sunday says, but I take it as being funny T. You my partner, you feel me? I don't take it as. She says, I take my health seriously. So I appreciate you, Buki. Thank you for the heads up <laughs> though. Like for real, that's why I fuck with you. <laughs> oh, these girls is messy. And then she says, three, two, one, free the bitch from hiding. Mm. So now let's let's read what uh, Lemmy has to say. Okay, and I wrote this in the comment. I said, the pastor's son has now turned into the prodigal son. Because y'all remember I told y'all a long time ago, uh, Zeus Network was a Christian network back in the day. And his father was a very, very prominent pastor. His father is the one who started a lot of that television, um, uh, the evangelist television shows was started by his father. So for him to be just running around like this, this is sad. This is what he said. He said, people out here have nothing better to do other than make up wild stories and lies, probably because Zeus isn't signing their checks or funding their lives anymore. Folks need to find some business, prefer preferably outside of Zeus, or if they want to be on baddies, just say that. <laughs> That's very spicy. Just say that. If not, they should go and focus on getting those monthly listeners up on Spotify. It's looking kind of light compared to them, compared to them so-called partners. They think they're out here clearing something, but they need to focus on clearing those records that's not coming out. Certain cast members have been off the show for damn near a year, but because they don't have any other <laughs> business or lives, watch it be, watch it be out me watch it be out me slash Zeus for the next 30 days, LOL. Okay, that was a very spicy response. So now, yeah, this is too much. I wasn't expecting all this, child. You got people on permanent uh, BV medication because they're bouncing out multiple dicks. You got, you know, the owner of Zeus. He's using his power, you know, and think about this. I believe this, okay? Because when I would watch the, what is that? Like, what was that called? The, is that the opener? Like what, the tryouts, I guess is what you could call it. You know how they would have people coming to try out for Zeus, like to be one of the baddies. There was girls showing up like with one leg. Remember that girl, she came up there, she had one leg. There was people with like in wheelchairs, like people were so desperate to be on this Zeus show. So imagine, yeah, the auditions. That's a lot of power for somebody to have. You got women who want to be on this show. They're willing to do anything, including fucking him. And these are just basic chicks from the hood. The only thing they bring to the table is coochie and, and fighting, right? That's really the, the only... Um, that's really how you need to be a baddie on this show. So think about this. If he's able to fuck all these so-called baddies, imagine the, the type of shit Harvey Weinstein was doing. This man is just the owner of Zeus. And look, at he's smashing the, the damn near the whole cast. Per Stunner Girl, allegedly. She said Natalie, Scotty, Anna. Hell, I wouldn't be surprised if he smashed Krishan. And that's just from him owning Zeus. So imagine the sick shit that Harvey Weinstein had these women doing. Because see, the difference is Harvey Weinstein could get you in an A-list movie. These bitches are on Zeus Network and they're busting it wide open, risking chlamydia, being on permanent BV medicine. So imagine all the cooch and residual cooch that were just played and, and tossed by Harvey Weinstein. 
Because these girls want to be in major movies. Ooh, the industry is dirty, honey. You know, I don't feel bad for Lemmy. So now we're going to get into the whole Krishan. You want the latest news in the streets? Join us, sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.